Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. This is the week of August 15th, 2022, and we have four stories for you this week. Uh, the first one is an update to the Zephyr drone that's been flying for, well, quite a while now. It's quite unbelievable. We'll talk about another DJI Avada leak. This time we have accessories. Apparently they are going to come out soon with the drone, I think. Uh, we have another drone smuggling attempt that happened in Texas. And then lastly, we have some new content to our photography course and not just a little bit, but a lot of new content. So let's get to it. The first thing this week is the Zephyr drone. We talked about it a while back and it looks like about 60 days back because now this drone has been flying for 60 days, 60 days. This is a 165 pound drone, 82 uh, foot wingspan. It's solar powered, hence the reason why it's still up in the air. Uh, this is the same drone that flew to Belize and back, and it's still up in the air. The last record for sustained flight for UAS flight was 26 days, and now we're at 60. That's uh, just incredible. I, I love the fact that this technology is uh, out there and being tested at the moment. I think this is great news for all of us. Uh, I know this is a big drone, probably not something that you'll see uh, in your foot in your doorstep anytime soon coming from Amazon but uh, I think this is uh, just really cool to see them pushing the technology that far Next story this week is the DJI Avada. We talked about it last week and the week before, and I think the week before. Uh, this drone looks like it's right around the corner. As always, a lot of leaks from the DJI uh, drones. And this time it looks like we have some accessories. Uh, the different parts were found on the website. Uh, we'll put a link to the Drone Excel article right here so you can see more. Uh, it looks like we have extra batteries, fly more combo ND filters, uh, and then a fly hub, a fly hub as well. Uh, the prices are actually pretty, uh, Reasonable, I would say. Uh, the Fly More combo with the two intelligent flight kits, uh, flight batteries, looks like it's priced at 279, which is about normal for two batteries these days. A single battery would be 129, and then uh, but but sh a box of filters for 79 dollars. Uh, propellers would be nine dollars, and then also the charging hub, which has all the different intelligent flight batteries for 59 dollars. Uh, it looks like you can change some of these parts. The upper frame is available for 20 dollars, which I think is cool. I mean, obviously the, the biggest complaint from people with the DJI FPV was the fact that if this drone crashes, uh, you're gonna break an arm, you're gonna do whatever it is. It looks like this drone has the ability to change some of the parts and they're pretty affordable because it's gonna happen. You're gonna, you're gonna break this drone uh, whenever it comes out and uh, yeah, stuff happens. Okay, next story this week is another drone smuggling attempt. Please, please, please don't be that person that does that. Uh, gives a bad reputation to all of us using drones and uh, this happened in Fort Worth, Texas. The man attempted to smuggle contraband, including drugs, smartphone, and an MP3 player. Uh, it looks like he's actually gonna be in quite a bit of trouble. Uh, they were able to find the flight logs and show that the drone was flown over other correctional facilities previously. So uh, he's looking to get uh, quite a few years in jail for doing that. Uh, I hope they actually make an example out of this person just so that it, um, it prevents other people from trying to attempt this. I'm sure he was not the only person behind this. I'm sure there is more people, but it is what it is. By the way, you might hear the thunder going on right now because uh, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm, but this has been a pretty common thing these weeks uh, in Arizona. So uh, we're gonna be recording anyway, then you can get nice sound in the background at the same time. Next story is Vic Moss came to the studio a couple weeks ago to record a full addition to our photography course. Uh, Vic has been doing this for almost four, over 40 years, I think now almost 40 years as a professional photographer. Uh, he's been flying drones pretty much since day one that drones were available to be used for photography. Uh, he's sharing a lot of his knowledge and we actually added five and a half hours of content to our photography videography course. And, uh, and we were excited to get Vic and, and get his wisdom them and get his experience. So if you're not in the course yet, make sure that you check the link down in the description. Uh, it provides so much data. Uh, it's basically at this stage a 13 hour course and we're gonna be adding even more content. We have a whole big section on videography that's being added uh, in the next couple weeks. And um, yeah, just a ton of value for the price. Uh, you will not find this anywhere else on the internet, especially with a focus on drones and on ground photography and ground videography. So uh, you'll get a, if you're looking to just get better at doing photography and videography, this is definitely the place to be, so. 
Next thing is, uh, last thing, uh, this is just kind of a quick add-on, commercial UAV Expo is around, around the corner. Uh, Don, Jason, and I will be at the UAV Expo, also with all of our friends from the industry. Uh, lots of exhibitors out there. Uh, you get uh, still the ability to get tickets. I think the tickets are, I don't remember the price actually. I don't remember the price actually. So we look forward to it and uh, that's it. That's all I have for you this week. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.